Pentagon UFO research leader proposes the possibility of an alien mothership in our solar system, and just like that, we have the mainstream media acknowledging the reality of UFOs. So what is going on here? There is a possibility that extraterrestrial motherships and smaller probes may be visiting planets in our solar system. The head of the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Research Office noted in a report drafted recently, an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its close passage to Earth, an operational construct not too dissimilar from NASA missions. This is what Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Research Office, wrote in a research report co-authored by Avi Loeb, Abraham Loeb, chairman of the Harvard University's Astronomy Department. Kirkpatrick, who was appointed as director of the AARO, when it was founded in July 2022, previously served as the chief scientist at the Defense Intelligence Agency's Missile, Missile and Space Intelligence Center. The AARO was established to investigate unidentified objects of interest around military installations, according to a Pentagon press release. Loeb, and on the other hand, gained notoriety when he proposed our solar system had been traversed by its first extrasolar visitor in October 2017. At that time, the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii detected an object moving at a speed that caused some scientists to suggest that it originated outside our solar, si solar system. The object's orbit also hinted at other forces besides the sun's gravitational pull influencing its movement. Scientists dubbed the object Umama, the Hawaiian word for scout, which Kirkpatrick and Loeb offer in their research paper as an example of a possible mothership with probe capabilities. Quote, with proper design, these tiny probes would reach the Earth or other solar system planets for exploration as the parent craft passed by within a fraction of the Earth-Sun separation. Just like Umama did, the authors explained, Astronomers would not be able to notice the spray of mini probes because they do not reflect enough sunlight for existing survey telescopes to notice them. End quote. The research paper titled Physical Constraints on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena comes following a month of intense scrutiny of unidentified flying objects, a stirring trend ignited when a Chinese spy balloon captivated the nation by drifting across the U.S. airspace three additional unidentified objects were subsequently found. On February 16, Senators Marco Rubio, Republican from Florida, and Kristen Gillibrand, Democrat in New York, and 12 other senators sent a, le a letter to Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks and Deputy Director of National Intelligence Stacey Dixon, calling for full funding for the AARO, the Biden administration's previous funding request for fiscal year 2023 failed to fund anything beyond the, the office's basic operation expenses, the lawmakers argued. AARO provides the opportunity to integrate and resolve threats and hazards to the U.S. while also offering increased transparency to the American people and reducing the stigma, the, lawyer, the lawmakers letter said. AARO success will depend on robust funding for its activities and cooperation between the Department of Defense and the intelligence community. His argument makes quite a lot of sense, don't you think? And this is by Zemon Perez, Military Times on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.